recording. Uh, check, check, mic, check, mic, check. Let's go, let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right. Two. Let me see if I remember how to do this correctly, oh, and I have to remember shoot. to pause in between. So last time it doubled. L- 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 language and concept warning. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Umami Nights. I don't do an intro anymore nah. because I don't care. This nah. show is whatever it is, man. <laughs> we used to have guests all Let's the time, go. and then now it's like, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this guy used to be a guest. I used to be a I've guest. I've interviewed him as a guest. Now I'm stuck. I've been here since last week. He's just still here. <laughs> He's still here. Um, welcome back to Umami Nights. Uh, the busy home cook uh, uh-huh. is on another spy mission. <laughs> Unfortunately, she got caught up for some top-ranking... Um, um private so, yeah yeah it's, it's, it's what's going on in the states i reckon classified yeah, yeah. yeah so we yeah. can't speculate too much about it no, no. um but she is uh sorely missed mm, on this episode definitely. we've had a lot of heat uh flying her way because she seems to be like the breakout star <laughs> <laughs> that is so true though yeah, yeah man yeah. she's yeah. like she, i think she added a really cool dynamic to yeah. the uh the show oh like i loved having tea on the other the other day like that that was cool that was cool yeah um, just the, like her her knowledge you know the, yeah. the information she brings to to the table she, yeah I can't, um, I can't wait till she's back basically yeah yeah she's yeah. sorely missed yeah um but today it'll be the ogs the champagne Let's boys yeah my name is Chong Ah Lee. With me, coasting once again, Mr. Q Film Collective hello, himself. Hello, hello. Day No. Make some noise for Day No. What's up? Yeah, let's go. Well, yeah, man. Like, let's recap the week, man. Uh, mm-hmm. What's been good? What's been happening? Uh, recap the week. Recap the week. Um, what do you What do you get up to, my man? How is like? Is this your first or second week as um, freelance life? Oh, uh, this is like at least like a second official week. Yeah. So just um, still trying to figure out like my meal plans and stuff, like <laughs> that. <laughs> making sure the budget's all good. You know. Are you back to like migoreng and like tuna and spam and like definitely tuna? Not so much migoreng because like you, you move know, past there's, that. Yeah, eh? there's other levels to this. Yeah, you know, yeah, okay, so, yeah, like, yeah. I mean migoreng, yeah, it's, it's good, but. Um, um, no, um, yeah, 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 de- definitely a lot of tuna and, and a lot of rice. And Don't like, sleep on that tuna, man. No, it's, it's good, like good man. protein. It is. It's, it's the Last best. a long yeah. time. That's it. That's it. And yeah. Yeah. So not, not as much, um, not as much Uber Eats as, as it used to be. Oh, the Uber Eats. But no, nah, but it's good. Um, just, uh, pushing forward. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it, man. You um, live so close to Sunnybank. I do. It's how tempting is it? Very tempting. Even just Warrigal Square, like, oh, you know, yeah. Warrigal, like, that's like a mini, mini so sunny. Because, you know, like, in obviously on our side of town, like, there's so many mini sunny banks, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, Little complexes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, even, like, um, the uh, Warrigal Square and Warrigal, like, Market Square. Um, oh, man. Dude. Just dangerous. dangerous. It is. It yeah. is. You know what's been dangerous for me, bro? What's that? McDonald's. No. They're doing the 30 <laughs> deals <laughs> yeah. for 30 days, man. Yeah, yeah And I'm yeah, such a yeah. sucker for it. Eh? I, for, I signed up for, for a I've, deal. Yeah, yeah. I've never, I've never shit? been for a deal. Exactly. Yeah, okay. I've never been like a. I've never had the app on my phone. I never okay. signed up to it. But, yeah. Um. Yeah. Somebody showed it to me. And I was like, it was nuggets that got me. Okay. Oh, it was like have enough. a million nuggets for five dollars. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> you had like, sign, sign, yeah. sign up. <laughs> So, wait, so you have to get an app, though. So. Yeah, you got to download the Macca's app. Mm-hmm. I mean, this sounds like an, an advertisement. <laughs> it's terrible. It, like, it's so bad for my body. Nah, it's all um, good. Well, is it, isn't that, like, similar? Um, cause this is one of the one of the um, young bucks at my ex, ex company. He showed me, like, I think if you get, like, the KFC app, like, there's, like, a secret menu on there. Oh, really? That, like, because like, every day has, like, a, um, a secret menu, so... If you have the app, you get access to a secret menu. So you go into the KFC of wherever you are and you're like, oh, I've got the app. I've got the secret menu. Can I have this like, you know, quadruple chicken burger thing <laughs> or whatever? Yeah. So, so you're going to make me sign up to KFC as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm sorry. Bro. <laughs> Yo, That's man. intriguing. So yeah. But yeah, so you're, so on the, you're on the Macca's app. Cool. Yeah. And yeah, I've cool. just been um, getting the deals, nice. man. It's yeah. like, and it's... Good deals. Yeah. They're fantastic deals. Yeah, great. Yeah. Um, yeah, and McDonald's, if you want to, s- if you want to sponsor the show, man, like we'll give you a bump. That's You'll it. probably get um three more subscribers to your app. Oh, for sure. At which would be uh, yeah. we've actually got three subscribers. That's good on our YouTube channel. Oh well, that's 
you know, we'll double that by the end of the night. Hell surely, yeah. Surely, Come on, let's surely. go, guys. If you're out there, man, let's um let's share <laughs> share yeah, these videos. Please, please do. <laughs> Please Somebody, it was no, it was Shen. Yeah, my mate Shen that um was like, cause I posted that little clip of T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speculating about how Jackie Chan met Kevin Rudd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the gold, in the gold mines. <laughs> yeah, back in the gold rush days. Like, like it was so funny because Fuck, like it was so good. It was just a gold mine, the gold rush part that just got me. Yeah, yeah. And um, so Shen, like when I posted that video, Shen was just like pulling that like he actually fact checked it for real because he's real. like he knows all of that all okay. about the martial arts world and stuff True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so he laid it all out I was like yeah man cool Yeah. we uh, we actually fact checked it as well on the show yeah well we kind of have to <laughs> yeah it was hilarious though it was so funny eh? oh, it was good it was good but it was, it was fun it was, ha- it was fun having um, Busy Home Cook on yeah for sure talking about um, things that she knows nothing about for sure um, but man aside from your tuna and my McDonald's apps we had a big week with we the release we of did. the Origins music video. Yes, sir. Uh, we, we had did. a bit of a uh, release party. Yeah, which was a lot of fun. On the Wednesday night. Yeah. Uh, we had a bunch of B&E OGs and up-and-comers and stars mm. in the venue. Lamarck Express killed it One with the catering, yeah. as usual. We yeah, had That the, food was amazing. Oh, dude, it was so good. Yeah. Uh, we had a couple of car style crew guys there. Yes, um, shout yeah. out to Alan and Mitch for coming through. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, and mm. and man, a bunch of like mad rappers and our friends, and it was just a cool night. Man, I had so much fun. Like I was hella nervous, like, but it was like, like I, like I, I had it, I had a good feeling everything was gonna go fine. But like I was hella nervous and shit, and um, just like smashing the beers and trying to trying to get through the night but it was so much fun it was good it was, I could, it was so good bro i could tell i could tell you're having a good time by the end of it because <laughs> you were like way more boisterous ah, no, i was no, like this no. is like 2008 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah this is this is like the good vintage day no oh, wait no 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 it's not the vintage it's the the, the young buck day now yeah man it was wild it was cool it was cool i was like i had a blast i had mm. a great time yeah yeah um you know and our good friend, the CEO of Bliss, brought us a bottle of um, yeah. Ace of Spades Bro. that we disrespectfully drank out of a plastic <laughs> cup. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of images floating around. <laughs> but man, that's like that's how that's how we do it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. man. So that was cool, man. Like I really enjoyed um, like what that night represented to us. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, just with East Mode as a collective of artists mm. and not trying to prove anything to anybody but just making music that we like yeah i mean it's so cliche everybody fucking says that right it is but like i mean fuck we have to say it because it's that's it's how we real, feel yeah you know, so and we really don't give it. a fuck about no i, I mean because i guess because we're a little bit more mature yeah um yeah. in i guess in the i don't want to say career but like as far as our music journey yeah um is concerned we yeah. we've been through the ups and downs a little bit for sure. more yeah so we sort of see this for what it is and it's like man I just want to make good music yeah. with my friends who happen to be really cool artists as well yeah. 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 very talented as well and just you know see what we yeah. come up with man yeah. I'm really proud of it man if you guys are out there and you want to check out the Origins music video mm. um it's Origins by East Mode and the streaming version of it comes out this um wednesday wednesday yeah this wednesday yep. Yep. on all streaming services spotify yep. apple google all that sort of stuff yep. give us a pre-save man i hope i can get this out in time <laughs> <laughs> give us a pre-save this comes out on friday <laughs> it's monday now <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um no but yeah yeah that'd be that'd be really sweet like run up run up the numbers um guys give it give it a listen um yeah. you know or six, not or not or don't well i mean yeah <laughs> If you're curious, give it a listen. Don't, yeah, give it a listen. Don't don't not listen to it just because we told you to listen. Yeah, to it. but now they have to because we told uh, them not to. Uh, you see that? Yeah. You see reverse, what I just reverse, did? Reverse you see psychology? what I just did? Yeah. But now that we said that, they're gonna not listen to it. That's uh, okay. It's fine. It's so fine. don't listen to it. And that's the end. <laughs> that's the end of that chapter. Oh man, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just had a big meeting, guys. And so, I was like, know. I was banking on the busy home cook being here to help carry the show and help like, carry the man. energy, man. It feels oh, hard yeah. again with just like two people. And we yes, we just did had a massive meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why the busy home cook is not here because yeah. we totally went over time. We did. And we, did. we um yeah. started this way late and she had to leave for a mission. <laughs> so catch catch that pl- uh, private plane. Pro- yeah. Yeah, private yeah. Plane. Air Force One, I think they call yeah. it. 
private well, that's a really hard word, word to say private plane private I've plane i really said that out loud before ah uh, it's not gonna be when we uh we all own one. Oh, okay bring um, back the g6 let's go yeah oh dude shout out to um how long i, th- I think i saw something on the other day on yeah. facebook the other day yeah. and i think that song is 10 years old yeah. g6 by um by Fire Fire Movement. Movement. Shout yeah. out to the homies, man. Yeah, shout out to the But let me just double OGs. check. Big, big, big OGs. Um, True pioneers. Uh, Far East Movement. Man, that is old, day. Eh? And it doesn't, but it doesn't feel old. No. Nah. Do you know what I mean? But I remember, like, I remember when that was, like, getting, like, blasted in clubs and stuff. Dude. And I would just be getting so tanked up because I'm like, these, do you know these guys of these, this is an Asian group, and like you guys are dancing to Asian music like now, ha ha ha, you know, yeah, like in your just, face, in your face. Yeah, 2010. And people didn't give a shit; they're just dancing, you know. Yeah, yeah. which so is yeah, good. That's the 2010. Point. Fuck, a decade ago. Fuck. And these boys came along and changed the game. But it's cool. It's so cool because like we've spoken about this so much in the past. But yeah, Asian rap. The Asian rap dot com days. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. They like, were like they had like heaps of their tracks on yeah. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're from the original um, Asian rap forum that we were a part of. Yep. 100%. Um, yeah. When the internet was just <laughs> broke, <laughs> just just coming into conception. <laughs> so old. <laughs> but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the yeah. internet, that was the first time Asian rappers had got a voice. Bro, Asian raps is like legendary. Oh, for I'm, sure. I'm sure we we've spoken about it a couple of times before, but what a legendary piece of like. Oh my Asian music history. Yeah. 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 It's the birth, arguably. Yeah. Like, arguably, yeah. For hip hop sure. had New York. Yeah. Asian rappers had Asian raps. <laughs> wow, it's gangster though. Was, oh it, my a- was it A Z N as well? A Z N yeah, raps, of yeah. Course, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course it was. Asan raps. Asan boys. Asan boys dot com. Yeah, yeah. That's the website. But um yeah, man, let, let's just jump straight into it, man, because uh I don't want to dibble dabble anymore yeah, for sure. about this because um that's what i do with guests <laughs> i'm like very I'm polite. not a guest anymore eh? <laughs> yeah. that's shit. i'm just very polite yeah. and I, no, you are polite. I mean you still give me beer and shit so that's <laughs> Thanks, fine. that's all that's I'm really all i need you, i'm trying to get you to like say something controversial no nah, man <laughs> you're, you're so good take man. a couple more of these bro i'm like is david like really actually that like educated no no no, no no bro you gotta take me back <laughs> to wednesday night and then yeah. i might say some weird shit yeah <laughs> That was so good, though. That was good. But um, uh, let's get into our nom noms, man. Nom-noms. What what did you see that was a nom nom this week? So big nom nom for the last uh, week has been uh, Xbox Series mm. X, I think, yeah, is yeah. the name that was released on the tenth, and then the PlayStation Five was released on the twelfth. Let's go. So let's the two go. next um big, I guess, generational console leaps from those two respective companies is now out. Woo. Um, if you have one, let me know because <laughs> it's very fucking difficult to to get one. Dude, didn't J? I think it was JB Hi-Fi. They yeah. sold out like immediately because yeah. like I think like I guess they had bots buying them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then people were like reselling and stuff. Yeah, and I can't remember. There was something. There was like a like a screen cap around going around of someone selling one on eBay for like a ridiculous. I can't remember, but it was a ridiculous amount oh. of money. How much is like an Xbox? Like retail right now, like the like both of the like, like what I mean, the uh, retail is. Um, I, I think it's like up. a little bit cheaper than the PlayStation. Uh, they're both like five hundred to six hundred each. Oh, okay, I'm pretty sure. So it's the Xbox Series X, right? Yeah, yeah. Because there's a Xbox Series X and then an Xbox Series something else, lesser. Oh, Series really? Series S, really? Yeah, which is like Less the gig or um, just not as powerful. Can't play games like at four uh, K. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's kind of just like a bit of a, more of a family-friendly version. Yeah, If you right, don't okay. care about graphical specs and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh, uh, it doesn't even, JB's not even putting up the price. Bastards. Come on, JB. How are you going to sponsor our show if you don't put the price yeah, up? Let's come. How are you guys going to send us the <laughs> new PS5? <laughs> yeah, man. Somebody restocked? send us, somebody send us a PS5, please. Or, or, or Xbox. Or I'm Xbox. Not, I'm not picky. No. JB, to be honest, bro, to son. be honest, I definitely would take the PS5 over the Xbox. Are we supposed to acknowledge you that you're here or? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you here in the I- Uh, I can be. No. Okay. Oh, so she did get back to you. Okay. That's not the busy home cook, by the way. The busy home cook is uh, on yeah, a, a spy mission. 
<laughs> I'm just randomly talking. This podcast <laughs> sucks, man. <laughs> 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 this fucking show sucks. No, nah, bro, no, nah, it's highly rated, bro. God, this is. <laughs> God damn, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's so good. We this is so disrespectful to our <laughs> listeners. <laughs> nah, Do we expect them to sit around and listen to us fucking having private conversations? Nah, they they. Did you just not hear what I was talking about? <laughs> Stop trying to talk to me. Well, I'm like, okay, <laughs> twelve o'clock is fine. <laughs> I'll be home at 12 o'clock. I was going to say, I'll say what, between 11 and 1 maybe? Yes, okay. Between 11 and 1. <laughs> okay, look. I don't even, look. Yeah. Xbox, JB Hi-Fi, you don't have the up. price. Yeah. What are you talking to? I'm trying to have a conversation with our three listeners here. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye, busy home cook. I mean, not I mean, not busy home cook. <laughs> voice from voice from the void. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Five hundred, six hundred. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> I think that's how much they usually are. Oh no! Do you remember? Do you remember wh- how much the original PlayStation was when it first came out? Like the the PS One. The PS One. Nah, nah. I think it was like a thousand dollars or something. Really. I, I, I want to say sounds like a busy home cook type <laughs> fact. <No. laughs> That's a thing now. All right, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna fact check it. Okay, fact check. It. Oh, okay. 1995 recommended retail price was six ninety nine point nine five. Okay. Okay, so it wasn't a thousand bucks, but still. Six ninety nine like US. Uh, no Australia. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Damn. So okay. how much is the PS Five? Pretty sure it's like it's five hundred. I think Price Australia, and that has two versions. Seven hundred forty-nine. Well. Oh shit! Fuck, that was way oh, wrong. Oh, here we go. Digital edition. Yeah, there's a digital edition. It's set at five hundred ninety-nine. So the PS Five price is this is by GamesRadar.com. dot mm. com. PS Five price is seven hundred forty-nine for the standard console, mm. while the PS Five digital edition, no disc drive here, mm. is set at five ninety-nine. See, that's that is. For me, like not a not a bad. That's a kind of forward thinking move, like on on PlayStation's part. Yeah. Like um, you know, having a a, a discless, I guess, um, PS Five. Not that us Aussies can really uh, enjoy fast internet speeds here. Yeah, They're all right. Such a shame, but, like, Yeah. It is. Yeah. Weird, so. I mean, like you know, when you game with other people with fast internet they're like oh god this guy's from australia that's one of the reasons why i don't game yeah with, like <laughs> it's with my mates it's fine like i'll yeah. when i get the time but like i don't like I, yeah. I can't do it with like people from overseas um so i've just looked up yeah. um the xbox series x price mm. um and it's 749 Fuck, I was like totally off. Okay. There What'd you go. say it was? 500? I was like 500, 600. Well, that's just, cheap, bros. Yeah, I know. Like, what kind of Xbox? Are you just getting the Xbox 360 and just rebadging <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, possibly. <laughs> now, nah, fuck that shit. Um, but yeah, that's, so, that's yeah. I mean, that's doable. Oh, like, yeah, no, like, it's it's expensive, but like, it's more than what I thought it was, but it's still like, yeah. But I, like, I, well, one, you can't even get one if you wanted one anyway yeah. for the moment. Yeah. There was like some weird thing flying around the other day saying like if you wanted a PS5 you probably won't get one until April if you haven't like pre In April? One. Yeah. That's so far away. That is far away. <laughs> That's really far away. Yeah. That's November, December, January, February, March. 5 months away. Mm, that's crazy. Dude. Yeah. yeah. So what what's the problem? What's the hold up? They just need to make more. Yeah. That's it. Just well, because of like COVID, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, COVID. Yeah, yeah, I know. I Just forget that the rest of the world is still affected by COVID. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, oh, no, actually, I, when I de- deal with um, manufacturers in, like, offshore. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, oh, that's right. You guys are yeah. still affected. Still Whereas, getting fucked over, yeah. Yeah, for us, it's like we're kind of, we're kind of seeing the other side of it. Yeah. And it, we're, we're hopeful yeah. <laughs> and we're positive. Well, that's the problem, like, whenever I order something from, like, overseas at the moment, like, I, I just forget. And I'm like, why is this fuck? Why is yeah. this taking so long? Dude. You know. And then I'm like, ah, uh, okay, all right. I yeah. ordered. I ordered these things. Oh, this. Oh, this. Ooh. I might as well. I might as well <laughs> give it a quick plug. What's up? Yeah. I ordered these things from America. Yeah. And um, I ordered two batches. One came when it's supposed to come, and the other one came. Oh, it never came. Yeah. And the, oh, I ordered at the good. same time. Yeah. And I was like, yo, what's going on? Yeah. 
I was like, where are my, like, where are my goods? Yeah. And they're like, oh, sorry, due to COVID, yeah. you know, the shipping times may vary. I'm like, oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, but, you know, one of the batches came on time and the other one just... How long did it take, like, just out of curiosity? Like, uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, I think it was maybe even less than two weeks. You One of one of them, the first one that came, yeah. it came on time. I think it was two weeks. The other one that's came at, good, like, bro. four weeks. I ordered, like, a cap. It came in, like, three months in the <laughs> States. Damn. It was, um... Is that um, the, the one that I've been friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah help me, help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, that one. Yeah. Um, that's a dope hat, man. That's yeah, it that is a dope hat. That's from uh, Juno Flow's brand. Oh, is it? Oh, uh, do you know what else is a dope hat? <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty this sweet. one's custom designed. Yeah, manufactured offshore. Yeah, like specifically, like for like each person's head. Like yeah. Personalized. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We sure. we send out um a digital scan. <laughs> yeah. And you send it back to us, That's it, and yeah. then we make it custom. Fuck, bro, you yeah, head next level. Yeah. That's Advertise like I'm gonna get sued for that. That's right. false advertising. But I haven't mentioned that the uh, the product is is oil apparel, <laughs> so I think I'm good. <laughs> let's just don't say anything. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Cool. but let's get back to this PS and Xbox because this is something that affects my life dearly. For sure. Well, are you Xbox or PS Five? At the moment, I'm PS Five. Yeah. At the moment, PS Five. Yeah. I was. An Xbox guy. We were a Nintendo. Kids. Yeah, same. I didn't. I didn't even get the PS One because I was like, "Fuck that, Nintendo all the way." Like, yeah. This was, like, you know, yeah. Was very loyalist back then. So. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I feel like because back then it was Nintendo and Sega. Like that was the, the yeah, main yeah. battle. Yeah. And then PlayStation came along. Was like, like, like oh, three yeah. D shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then Dreamcast. Like yeah, Sega Dream, tried to yeah. Do Dreamcast. Bro, I. <sighs> <laughs> I ended up getting like a Dreamcast and it was amazing. Like it was yeah. actually amazing. And I was like, this thing's going to blow up. Like this is, <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like, this competition is in the bag. Like Nintendo and um Nintendo PlayStation are done. And then, because I didn't know anything about marketing or mar- like how like the sort of whole gaming world was being affected at that time. Literally, like, I think it was like a year after that. They're like, oh like, yes, yeah, like Sega's done. Like, we're not going to sell consoles anymore. We're not making enough profit. We're just going to be like just a licensed, um, you know, gaming uh, company. We're just going to make games. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I was like, fuck. Okay. We, um, I don't know if we should say this. I should say, oh, fuck it. It was 10 years ago. Mm. Uh, we recorded the EMR Elevate album in the Sega Studios. What? When the Sega Studios was in um, the Valley. Bro, that's fucking cool. Yeah, bro. So, but studio. when we were, oh, bro, it was yeah. fucking fantastic. Yeah. When we were recording the album, they were mixing um for, uh one of the f- one of the Olympic games that was being developed here. Okay, right. So they were doing like, Olympic, like, like an Olympic, Olymp- game. the Olympic games, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. the the actual game yeah, yeah. of the games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like it was like you walk in there like, oh shit, this is like oh, and for a gaming nerd epic, like myself, man, yeah, you go yeah. like, what the fuck? I'm like, that would have been. This is where they make games. <laughs> you guys take photos? you have any No, no, we weren't allowed. to steal a cat or something? Or no, we weren't allowed. I probably shouldn't even say this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having... I'm really regretting it right uh, now, man. I get popped off by, like, Sega goons. Yeah, uh, look, um... Way. Yeah. <laughs> but that's dope. That's, that's, that's cool. I didn't... Yeah, I didn't know that. All that's three cool. listeners out there, please don't, yeah, um, don't divulge know. that information, okay? Let's yeah, just keep yeah. that between us. Let's go. But, yeah, yeah. that was cool. Uh, but, man, yeah, so... I'm on PS4 at the moment, mm. and I'm, look, I've only just gotten back into gaming because yeah. because you know kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember sure. the last so the last game that I played was um, um, Grand Theft Auto, mm. uh, Five. Okay. GTA Five, right? Yeah. Yep. And I remember my firstborn. I was I was three quarters of the way through the game. Yeah. And my firstborn came, and I was like, "There is no way I'm not finishing this game. It's too good." <laughs> It's too good. So I had him on my lap yeah. and I was on the rocking chair, oh, had him on my lap shit. and then my my forearms holding him in like this oh, and my no, hands were free. Bro. I have to like, and I was like this. dude, and it was like I, there was no way I was was not finishing this game. Yeah, for sure. And I was just doing whatever I could. That's committed. And yeah, and responsible. Yeah, oh, well. You know? Yeah, for sure. A mature responsible adult. That's yeah. what a mature responsible adult does. I'm sure like um, you know, He'll learn from his environment somehow, <laughs> yeah. you know, take, take, take that aboard. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. But I remember that so vividly, hey, like, there was this final, there's that final scene. See, I haven't played it. Oh, See, you haven't? I, haven't yeah, I know, I know. And like, trust me, like the lyrical fucking like shit. Like, hey, fucking, shout out he, to the lyrical. Shout out to lyrical. Uh, shout out to Game Train and um, Callan as well. Um, 
Yeah, the lyrical always like fucking like puts me on blast with this. He's like, you can't call yourself a gamer if you haven't played like GTA Five and stuff. And and I've and I have I've countless other comebacks to to him <laughs> about <laughs> what games you should and shouldn't have played. <laughs> so, but anyways, um, I hear it, I hear it's an amazing game, and yeah, I I I have to get around to playing. It's it. to me, it feels like it's a masterpiece okay. to me it's worth the wait damn bro that's yeah it's worth like, like okay because uh, i've followed it since gta oh uh, no what's the top down one the first gta when that's you play like, on a pc I think, I think the first two were like top yeah downs, i think on Maybe? the pc yeah 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 so yeah. i've been playing it since then yeah and i followed it and that's the only game that gets me to buy the new console okay yeah. so i don't give a fuck about any other game that comes okay. out yeah. when gta comes out yeah i buy that console okay yeah and um so that was the last, and there's this final scene, spoiler alert. Okay. Uh, there's this final scene where you're driving out to the final act. Yep. And it's just like you driving um, down the highway towards the sunset. Oh, okay. And it's got this really cool, like, like 80s uh, electronic music okay. playing. Like, it's so yeah. dope, man. Like, the way they set, and it just feels like, you know, like, because the way the story's set up, like, you've got to make this massive decision. Yeah, okay. And yeah. the decision's, like, it's not a win-win. It's, like, a lose-lose. It's really cool, man. Okay. And well, so I mean, like, the moment's never going to be the same for me now, but, like... That's yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. that's my If own you ever fault. have that moment... That's, that's like, my own It's fault. 10 years old. The yeah, game is 10 yeah, years old, bro. Saying, you had 10 saying, years to play with it, and the lyrics have been in your ear telling you you need to play this game. Man, if I play and it's a shit game, I'm going to be angry at both of these. Like, expectations are fucking, like, so high right now. But anyways, <laughs> if you play the game, me and Lyrical are going to high five each other like, wow, we actually did it. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, so yeah. now we're going to have GTA 5 conversations, <laughs> man. Um, but yeah, man, like so, and I, and I just started playing again with um, with, with Le Mac Express boss. Oh, true. I thought, I thought you were going to be like, with my kids. Yeah, no, no, no. That language is, um, it's too mild for them. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 They, they like something They probably hardcore. get bored, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, like this what is this G-rated yeah, shit? Yeah, fair enough. Fair call. Yeah. Fair call. But um, I've been playing online. Yep. With Tang, man. We've been having a blast. That's we good, stream man. a bit too, which is like hilarious. Yeah, I, I only caught a little bit like of, I think, because you guys did, um, what else did you guys do? Um, fuck, what's that other multiplayer game? Was it World War Z? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I did a little bit of World War Z yeah, yeah. Um, as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, World War Z is great. Okay. Like I'm again, I'm coming back into this gaming stuff. Seems like such a like a like such such an underground sort of game. Like I I didn't like I heard about it, but it, it's not one of those games where people are like fuck. Have you tried out World War Z and that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, so so Tang saw a video yeah. of a bunch of dudes playing it. Yeah, he was like, bro, we should do this. I was like, but of course. Okay. Yeah. And then um, yeah, I downloaded. I started fiddling around with it yeah, just yeah. by myself, and I was like, jumping out of my seat. Yeah. Because it's that kind of like okay. it's, it, it sets you up for that kind of yeah, um, yeah. scare. Okay, sure. Yeah. And so you're jumping out like just shooting off like randomly like yeah, at yeah. different things. It's really yeah. cool. Like it's the way it's set up. It's it's it gives you that sort of um that desperation. Okay. Do you remember yeah. Resident Evil? Do you Bro, ever play I Resident Evil? I love Resident Evil. It's kind of like that. I love Resident Evil. It's that. Yeah. It's that vibe. Yeah. It's like take away all of your weapons. Yeah. And like you've got two bullets in your gun. Okay. Everything's quiet, no soundtrack, yeah. and you're just hearing like groans. Yeah, but like the Resident the Evil like zombies are like, you know, pretty slow and stuff. I've seen the World War Z movie. Like yeah. those zombies, they're not shambling around. They're no. like, um, fucking like Asian zombies. They're like <laughs> fucking gunning it. Fucking efficient. B-boy just super and efficient. like pop locking yeah. and stuff, you know, like going crazy yeah, and shit, man, you them, know. Them, them Asian zombies got swag. They do, <laughs> man, of course. <laughs> Of they course. got like beautiful hair. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like, like blue real. and purple. Yeah, it's fucking lit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, like the, the same okay. in the game. They just come out in hordes oh, of just sounds, rushes, bro. Oh, that sounds terrifying. And you're just like yeah. mowing them down, okay. like just like okay. indiscriminately spraying the yeah. whole thing. Do, 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 yeah. Do. yeah. Bro, it's so good. Okay. Okay. It's so good, eh? Okay. Um, but you have a PS4, right? I've got a commun- communal, a communal, communal one. PS4, yeah. which is. Which was in my room for a little while, but it's found its way back out into the living room. How does so. that work? So how does it work? Is there a booking system? No, 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 no. It's just like I bought a game, The Last of Us 2, and I was Ooh. like, um, I'm going to play this. Um, so I just waited until like no one was really home and I took it into my room. <laughs> and that lasted like a, good, like a couple of months. Oh, okay. And then um, okay. Solomon. So you had your time with it? Yeah. Then Solomon was like, where's the PS4? I'm like, oh, it's in my room. I was just trying some stuff. Um yeah, so now it's back out in the living room. Yeah, right. So how long before like before it goes back into your room? Like, do you have to leave it out in the? 
I'm thinking like room. this weekend. I'm probably gonna yeah. put it back in my room. Yeah. What's like, the minimum time you reckon to like if it's if something's communal, right? And you've had it for a while, and yeah. you got to put it back out to where it's supposed to be. How? What's the minimal time you got to leave it there before you you sort of go? Yeah, now it's about right. Well, to, to be, be honest, like to be honest, like it depends if like anyone's used it. And like Solomon, I played it once. <laughs> In like, and it's been there for like uh, at least two months now. So I feel like I've given everyone ample <laughs> opportunities to use it. It's going back in my room. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So yeah. two months. All right, two months. That's a good rule of thumb, I think. That's enough time, right? Man, earlier, I'd say to yeah. be honest, but like, yeah, two months. Sure. It's like yeah, it's yeah. like if someone hadn't played a game. Yeah. That came out ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. And then you tell them what happens at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. They can't, yeah. They can't get mad at you for like yeah. spoiling the ending. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, yeah, yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> it's never going to be the same, but. Right. But then I guess just I can't. Forever. I, well, then I have to blame you guys if I think, like, I'm like, man, that ending was shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways, that's all right. Yeah. So, so Last of Us 2. Um, yeah, and I, I have, Did like, you get it? I've barely touched it. Oh, okay. Um, I've barely touched it. I've been, um, I've been playing, um, Final Fantasy 15. Ooh. Yeah. Is that, is that the, um, like, the U Butte one, the, the latest one that's like, um 3d um and realistic the 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 latest one is final fantasy oh uh, well like as far as like what's come out recently yeah final fantasy 7 the remake oh, is the yeah, latest that, one yeah. yeah the one that just the one that came out before that i think was final fantasy 15 which yeah is very like very i guess realistic more, yeah, yeah 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 more sciencey yeah more f- uh, sci-fi kind of stuff. i um, i like that like i yeah. saw that trailer and i was like that's it, because I've never been a Final Fantasy guy. Okay, yeah. I'm not really an RPG guy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that Final Fantasy, I was like, I can get into that. Yeah, like, I can get into. Okay, let me back up. When I was playing RPGs, <laughs> I was Mr. Non RPG. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I when I played RPGs, yeah. I never really got into it because it was the battle sequences yeah, yeah, were yeah, too yeah, yeah. choreographed. Yeah, yeah. Which they've, f- and I think for all intents and purposes, that will always be in. Some- they call them well they call they call them japanese rpgs because that's the more traditional rpg right. where it is um turn-based yeah yeah turn-based uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah um which i i don't mind obviously i can see how some people are like well this just this you know i want to just do something you know yeah um but i think the the sort of next generation of rpgs definitely are trying to incorporate both styles right because in um the remake and final fantasy 15 you can actually you have the choice Oh, you right. can make it turn based, where like obviously you know select slash and yeah go and yeah slash yeah then Pokemon you have to wait style. yeah yeah um or you just it's real time mm. so you're That's doing tight. which is cool um yeah but like I've I you know RPGs like they they take a lot of time like I mean it's it's like GTA games they're they're big you know yeah so, yeah you know. Yeah, because you gotta like it. Yeah, you know, otherwise it's like why are you sinking so much time. That's into true. It, yeah, know, so, That's yeah. A, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. That's the other thing. Eh? Like yeah. The time cost. <laughs> oh, bro. Or the time investment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they don't make small games. I mean, they do, but it's like, like yeah. the big AAA like, titles yeah. that look amazing and like look like you're having the most fun in the world. Like, yeah, it takes... It takes I time. love the stories. Like, I love mm. the storytelling in... Yeah. That's why I love the Grand Theft Auto so much because yeah. like the storytelling in it. Mm. And it feels relevant. Sleeping Dogs was another one. I never played it. I keep wanting to oh, play dude, it. Oh, that's though. great too. Yeah. I, I, oh. I hear that that... Sorry to interrupt, bro, but I hear yeah. that that's... Um, a lot of people are like are so like just um what you call it? just so sad that they never really continued that series. Yeah. Like apparently like it was like a masterpiece as far oh. as like being like a GTA inspired game but was its own thing. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, it yeah. was enough GTA. Yeah. Uh but it was enough of its own thing. Yeah. And it it felt like it was made for Asians. Yeah. Dude, yeah. it was so fucking good. Fuck, I wanna go play. It was game. so good, man. Like I'm, I'm. I started playing it again. Like mm. I rarely ever go back and play games again, just because it takes so much time. Of and course, like, yeah. And you feel like, oh, I should play something new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because like a lot, for, a lot of it for me with the storytelling aspect is the surprise, the element of surprise. Sure. Yep. I'm just going yep. and just revealing the story bit by bit, yep. being yep. a part of it. Yeah. But if I know, if I expect it, yeah, then it kind of takes away that sort okay. of element, and I'm just going through the motions. But yeah. Um, yeah. but Sleeping Dogs is so good that I'll, I'll do it again I'll, enough yeah, time has passed out, for me to go back and do it again because I think it's been um, like remastered or like re yeah. HDFI'd or whatever you know like, yeah uh, oh, not recently but so like good. a little while ago the so. battle system is really good too okay. like the combat system yeah 
uh, it's very inspired by Yakuza. I don't know if you ever played Yakuza. Yeah, yeah, bro. I started playing the first one, which is like I think the fourth Shinmu one. Shinmu or whatever. In um, or whatever it's called. Oh, Shinmu. Uh, Shinmu. Shinmu. I don't know. Yeah. Um, is that what it's I never. Called? No, no. Oh. That's um. That's not not the same company or game as Yakuza. Oh. Um, Shinmu or Shinmu. I'm not oh, sure how to pronounce it. Um, that was um. Pretty sure that was originally a Sega Dreamcast game. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, where the yeah. weather changed. And yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, 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 that one, yeah. yeah. But yeah, Yakuza. Um, Yakuza's dope. Yakuza is um, like, uh, kind of like a GTA yeah. type vibe as yeah. well. Um, I played the um, one of the original ones, one of the first ones. It's remastered and it's because my brother gave me... Um, is it like Yakuza Zero? Because that's, yeah. that's the one I always started playing as well. He's walking around in a white suit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, one, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah talking yeah, about yeah. like a, they're looking for the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so... What I love about that game, how like unashamedly Japanese, Japanese it is. Oh, dude, like, it's so it's good. All their quirks and all oh. their coolness, like just in, you know, one game. Like yep. it's like... you. It just... It just unashamedly like yeah. how they the, the level that they're on yeah. is, is what's in that game which is amazing it's you know? made for the japanese it is yeah yeah and yeah. it's like you are being let into their world 100 you know i mean it's like yeah. if you don't get it you better pick up yeah that's it you that's better it. come up to speed that's man it. Yeah, I, I love it so yeah. much man yeah. like because and i'm guessing it's going to be the same for you like we understand that culture a little bit more because we're into anime and yeah, we understand yeah, like yeah, yeah. Japanese movies yeah, and like, that's you know it, what I mean? that's the food it. and so all, you, know? you, you sort of you p- you can pick up on a few um, of, of I guess the nuances and uh, of some of the tropes I guess yeah yeah um, but then there's some stuff that still yeah. just surprises yeah. you you're just like what is going on like, I can't like that leap is too far <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Like, my brain it's my like, western thanks, brain though. <laughs> yeah, can't yeah. close that gap <laughs> But I think it's a fantastic, like, study, if anything, yeah. into, you know, just how the level that, that those guys are on. It's and it's a cool. gateway to their culture and, For like, sure. what what they put out as art. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you play GTA and then you play Yakuza. Yeah. The two both, like, you know, third-person yeah, yeah, um, yeah. sort of action. What do they call it? Like, third-person action yeah, it's RPG-ish. Third, yeah, yeah. Third-person, I guess... Not so much the the like I was gonna say open world, but the Yakuza ones aren't. Oh yeah, it's kind of like super a super open sandbox. world. Yeah, it's yeah, it's sort of like that. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, the way that they tell their stories yeah. and like the the attitudes towards sure. the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are completely different. One hundred percent. Completely man. different. One hundred percent. Yeah. But like both super duper enjoyable. Yeah. No, you know? I, I I um I, I enjoy I I've I've enjoyed it so far and like I think what there's like five of them or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So. It's so long. It is, like it, it is it is long and that's the thing. That's it's it's always a commitment thing, eh? Yeah. That's why you gotta yeah, I think and this is the problem with me sometimes, like you gotta be realistic with yourself. Like you're like, Am I enjoying this? Like am I really enjoying this or am I just pushing through, you yeah. know? And sometimes like I think sometimes when I'm playing it's like I'm just pushing through. Like, yeah, I could probably be playing something else that I'm really enjoying. You know, so I yeah, know. I did. I've, I actually, I did that with Yakuza. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think it's because I'm used to a faster pace. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, and like my like my tolerance for reading subtitles these days. <laughs> like, you better be giving me some bars, otherwise I'm not reading shit, man. <laughs> did you, you know put I mean? on the English dub? I put on English dub. Oh, no, no. I didn't put on English dub. I just, like, read the sound. Oh, okay, just really quickly. <laughs> yeah, I was like... Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I can't do this. Like, as much as I really enjoy it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't got time. Like, no. it's just a time thing. Yeah, I understand. I want to... I'm enjoying the story. I want to get along, but it's like, damn, Dirt Rally 2.0 came out. I was like... It's it's different if you're watching, like, a movie or, like, an anime, like, because it's, it's, it's bite-sized. It mm. does, you know, whereas a game, like... It's not just an hour or half an hour of your time. It's more. So I, 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 I know what you mean. Like the you, you sort of start flicking through like the the text and stuff. And yeah, like, oh, I, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, good. Yeah, I definitely would like to play the other games as well because they. It seems like there's a an interesting lore and story like throughout the whole thing. So yeah, yeah. I think if I get a bunch of time, um, like just free, just to be able to dive into it. Yeah. I would really, I just, I really love that world. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think it's just a time thing, honestly. Oh, like, bro, 100%, 100%, 100%. Um, at the moment, Dirt Rally 2.0 is my jam. True. I'm like, I'm obsessed with it. Really? Too, real. Cause Cause that, so is that, so has that only just been released or? No, that's been out for a while. Okay. Um, But, okay, remember like when lockdown first happened? Yeah. 
and I did that multiverse mixtape. Yes. That multiverse mixtape, the whole point of doing that mixtape was to get that's enough right. money yeah, to buy the G29 steering wheel. That's right. I do remember <laughs> that. I do remember that. And Which I, like, you successfully got. No. I did. <laughs> I like with the with the help of like some very generous, very generous. buyers. <laughs> But man, I so I got and then like I've just been playing um Dirt Radio two point okay. I just I just set it up outside with this massive TV like yeah, this yeah, far yeah. from my face. Yeah, yeah. As you as you do. I yeah, guess. man. Yeah, yeah. And I like I rigged up a um <laughs> a um handbrake as well. You're using a, like an old joystick that I just took apart and gangster. linked up to the um well, hooked up with a rubber band to like another <laughs> controller. Bro What? Yeah, Next it's level, it's, bro. it's mm. this whole thing. Okay. It's a hack basically. But yeah. It works perfect, man. And, like, I just love it. I okay. just, like, the learning curve on it is, like... Because it's a simulator. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, those sort of, like, racing games where they are a simulator. Like, yeah. I, I just don't... I don't I don't get... I don't get it. I, I don't know enough about, um, I guess, <laughs> driving. <laughs> 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 Sounds so... We don't have to perpetuate <laughs> No, no. The stereotype, right? No, no, right? I mean, no, no, no. I'm not... That's, I ain't, no, I'm not trying to say that. I'm not trying to say that. I just... I, I think my... um. Just the the link, the knowledge for to play it, and just to really put the time and effort into it. It's just too much, yeah. too much. Too, that's a leap for me. You know? Yeah, it, well, it is. It is mm. a steep curve, mm. steep learning curve. It's like I was watching YouTube videos, like okay, okay. Because I, I, you know, I've I used to like casually race carts when yep. I was a kid with okay. my brother and okay. our neighbor and stuff. That's dope. Like we used to go out and do carts and like, yeah, cool. like I'd have a, I had a like a mild interest in cars, but more of an interest in racing. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Um, but then when like this came out, I'm like, oh, this is like it's so affordable to yeah, have like yeah, a simulator yeah. in your house. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, and once you sort of understand, because we used to play racing games when we were yeah kids, but it's not the same on a controller or on the wheel. Sure. And rallying is a different style of racing than like track racing. Yeah, yeah. So and I've never really done rally. I've love I love watching rally. Mm. I don't understand how to do okay. that technique like that sport. Okay. Yeah. Until like it just research and then like i didn't know that. i didn't know you were so into that's cool i'm not really into it into it i'm not into it like i'm into rap okay but i like enough it. to like jerry rig a like fucking yeah, whole, like, thing yeah, like yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. actually that's true yeah but no but that's cool it's like fun. i mean that's that's yeah like i mean geez, uh, yeah once once the, you yeah. sort of learn yeah. the characteristics of how it works okay then you just really enjoy it like it's okay. you know it's yeah. like oh it's so fun okay. but um yeah man i've been like advertising that to everybody <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's great. Let's race. Let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, yeah. but yeah, other than that, man, like uh, this, we have to wait to April to get the next console. Not that I was gonna get it straight away. No. Um, but no. I mean, that's fuck April. Yeah. That's like hypey shit. Yeah, I mean, like, I d- look, like I said, I saw that floating around. Like, don't take my word for it. But like the way that things have been going, that doesn't seem like, um, what you call it, um. Doesn't seem like that might not be the case. You know? Yeah, because yeah. every 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 date every date that they've had it, um, you know, to to put the pre order in, it just literally gets sold out in like half an hour, if that, not even that. Yeah. So um, yeah. Oh well. Oh. Yeah. All right, man. Let's take a break, man. Let's we've go. logged. Uh, damn, we've logged forty three minutes. That's Ooh. pretty much the episode. <laughs> All right. See you guys. <laughs> if we're back, I'll, we're back. I'll pause it and I'll like <laughs> top up your drink, and we'll do a short. Yeah. Bit and then we'll say bye. No, nah, it's all good. But I just want to pause it because I want to make sure uh, this still works. All right. Let's shout out our sponsors real quick. Shout out to Lamarck Express. Shout out to Oizo Oi Apparel. Shout out to Q Film Collective. Shout out to the Busy Home Cook and Succulent Queen on Instagram. Check her out. And shout out to Taihua Groceries. Be back. Yo, we're back. We are. Welcome back to Umami Nights. We don't do an intro anymore because the show sucks and I've given up on it. I'm your host, John Ali. <laughs> this is my co-host, Dano, man, Mr. Q Film Collective, so. himself. Yes, We've man. logged a massive first half just dorking out and geeking out on games. That's fine. Because that's who we are and we don't give a fuck. Look, we're shamelessly trying to work <laughs> in an Asahi sponsor. Let's go. I mean, whatever. Who gives a shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Asahi um, height. It's all good. Yo, bro. let's we'll let's go. go. Yeah. Cass, come yeah, on. Cass, yeah, let's Cass. Go, man. Let's go, let's go. Cass. What's all up? the hitters. All yeah. the hitters. Yeah. Uh but cheers, bro. Cheers, brother. <sighs> cheers, busy home cook, wherever you are. Working hard on a spy mission. That's it, that's it. That's it. Uh I wanted to talk about real quick. Yep. 
My nom nom for the week. Yep. My noms noms. Noms noms. Nomin nomin nomin. Mm. Uh, the homeboy Chris Evans. <laughs> yeah, the homeboy, eh? So the homeboy Chris Evans, he got in to trouble mm. this week. What did he do? What did he um, do? He posted something on his Facebook. Mm. Oh, shit. Is his name Chris Evans? Yeah. No, wait. Isn't Chris it? Ev- um, chef. Master Chef. Isn't it Is Pete it Ma- Evans? Pete Evans. Sorry, Chris Evans. <laughs> Sorry. How bad. You can take, take our sponsor. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Is yeah, it Pete yeah. Evans? No. Yeah, it's Pete Evans. Oh, You're right. Okay. Man, thank you. Fuck, thanks. <laughs> thanks, bro. That's man, right, that bro. was a busy home cook moment there. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh wait I so I've seen so I haven't I've seen a couple of things pop up on Instagram some memes and shit and some Simpsons Instagram because I'm I'm a big Simpsons fan yeah um I'm not really sure what's going on so you gotta have to put some context into this for me all right let me report it straight from sbs.com.au okay the title is misinterpreted Pete Evans apologizes for sharing cartoon with supposed neo-Nazi symbol and is dropped by publisher. Okay. Pete Evans has been dropped by book publisher Pan McMillan. It comes after the celebrity chef posted a cartoon that appeared to include a symbol associated with neo Nazis and the far right. The watch the um. Um, it's like a. It's called a. The black sun symbol. The black sun symbol has been associated with the occult and paganism but has also become a symbol used by far-right and neo-Nazi groups. Yeah, right. So this guy is a guy that's openly an anti-vaxxer. anti-vaxxer yeah, yeah. He's a, as far as I can tell, a Trump supporter. Is he? Wow. I don't know. I, I, look, he's wearing a Trump hat. He's wearing, a, sorry, a, a MAGA hat. Yeah, well, that speaks um, for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, look, I'm I'm a Trump supporter. Yeah, oh, I'm I not just, saying it's a bad thing. I don't want him to be. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a Trump supporter, as in like I want him to be the American president. I'm a Trump supporter, as in like yeah, let's keep him in the news cycle. Let's yeah, know, like yeah, see yeah, what yeah. he's up to, that's man. It, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. don't do anything to do with like presidential shit. I would love if they just trolled him just quickly and be like, oh, actually, you know what, you did win. Oh, dude, how good! And just get the reaction. Yeah, yeah. And like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the little dance. <laughs> That's, that's the greatest. Somebody's got to make that a dance. That's got to be a TikTok video, right? Uh, well, you know, we've been uh, researching into TikTok, <laughs> haven't we? So we'll see. Bro, maybe he's the original TikTok. Uh, TikToker. TikTok, well, if something's going to make me go on TikTok, it, I'll, I'll watch his crazy antics. For Hell sure. yeah. yeah. Oh, for dude. Sure. For sure. He'd blow up on TikTok. He would. He literally would. He would blow up. Yeah. Bro. Um, I think anyway. apparently, like, he's doing a, um, a news. Station or something. He's releasing a news, a Trump news station or something. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think I saw that or heard Fuck that hell. somewhere. For real? Yeah. Apparently that was the plan all along. Allegedly. All, I don't know, all along, I probably, eh? should, I probably should fucking well, shut my mouth. No, the thing is like, it's like, I'm like, that doesn't sound outrageous as yeah. far as like something that he would do, you know, like. Yeah. Can you? <laughs> is it just gonna be him, like just reporting? Shit? I don't. Like, uh, yeah, who knows? Just riffing for like half an hour, like, dude. Just, I would listen. I would just listen. I would probably listen for. I don't know about half an hour, but like I'd listen for a little bit. So yeah. imagine if you had a podcast, bro. <laughs> I would fucking go to sleep to that. I would go to sleep to a Donald Trump podcast. I don't know, bro. Like I, I, I I'd, I'd have a fear of just losing brain cells, <laughs> like waking up fucking <laughs> mentally. You know, just <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just fucking yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm all for it. Okay. I, I I love the guy. Well, as you let me know when, <laughs> when the podcast becomes available. I'll I'm produce it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yo, do you, like it can't be worse than this podcast, it man. Can't, can't be. <laughs> can't be. I like. We we'll probably turned off our three listeners. The three listeners that we had. Yeah, who tuned in for yeah. like Asian creators? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. all these big buzzwords, yeah. Asian like buzzwords, interviewing <laughs> other Asian yeah. artists and blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh yeah, Grand Theft Auto Five <laughs> and like and PlayStation, Trump podcast. yeah, Trump podcast. I'm like, what is this show? Nah, this, this is the shit. This is the shit. Yeah, lucky we don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, but yeah, man. So Pete Evans. Yep. Um, so yeah. What, so he. So he's. He's been dropped by his publisher. Okay. I mean, so that's. But that's the worst thing that's happened to him so far. He's just been dropped from like a, a booking deal, I guess. Um. Is it like much? I, th- I don't know, man. Like because he's not like, that big. I don't feel like he's that big of a. Well, I feel like. 
I mean, he's he's never had the best track record because of like the whole like anti vax yeah, thing. Yeah. Like people would just rip on him already for that. Yeah. Um but like this is um this is like a that's sort of like a different strand. Like that's like yeah. this is like some racist. This shit, is getting you know, into like, like prejudice. Yeah. Um and that's not good. No. <laughs> I mean <laughs> not like, what we stand for. I mean putting other people's um babies in danger because of bad I mean that's you know yeah. food advice it's, that's bad that's pretty bad yeah this is pretty bad too like just like hating a bunch of people there's two bads of, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not not the best thing so it's like Pete Evans man what, what, what's going on bro so wait so what's anything from his like has he said anything oh he said something like he, he played it off as if um he didn't know what the symbol meant okay but see like this is the thing right this this thing that he um this comic or this meme or whatever that he shared yeah it's a caterpillar mm. with a mega hat on okay and the speech bubble says you've changed and then it's the butterfly mm. with the um what's the symbol called that nazi the, the, symbol the red uh, black sun or whatever yeah yeah it says we're supposed to so you're saying like so it's a yeah, it's so implied that like the the Caterp- the caterpillar, caterpillar, I guess, has evolved. Wait, do caterpillars turn into butterflies? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That? okay. So yeah. it's implied that the caterpillar started off as a MAGA supporter, yep. and evolved into a Nazi. That's the implication. Yeah, that makes sense to me for the most part. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of Trump supporters that aren't Nazis, but yeah. I'm sure there's a a overwhelming amount that are. Yeah. Um but his his statement was Well um, then but like okay I mean as far as the black sun um symbol, like I have to be honest, I wasn't too aware of that um particular symbol. Yeah. Um but I mean if you're gonna post something like that, like why would you just post it with no context? Like surely he must like what's what's the nick what's the excuse why why else would he have posted it? exactly you know what I'm saying like yeah. exactly because he was like oh it's an oldie but a goodie saying like that's what he that was the <laughs> caption it, with the post that he how put is it in. an oldie like those are two like the well, the whole like MAGA hat thing that's a very uh, recent and relevant yeah. thing you know that's not a, that's not an oldie I don't I don't what understand okay. I don't understand the yeah. logic it sounds like just a lot of digging hole and jumping in to yeah. his own <laughs> yeah. sort of you know grave kind of thing. His excuse, or his, I guess his yeah. reply, yeah. was sincere apologies to anyone who misinterpreted a previous post of a caterpillar and butterfly having a chat over a drink and perceived that I was promoting hatred, Evans wrote. I look forward to studying every symbol that has ever existed and research them thoroughly before posting. Hopefully this symbol, and then he puts a love heart, resonates deeply into the hearts of all, exclamation mark. He's just being a jerk. It sounds that. like he's like, and it's so sarcastic yeah, and like, is. um, and like passive aggressive when he yeah, says, yeah, yeah. "I look forward to studying every symbol that has yeah, ever existed." Yeah, for sure, like, like settle down, mate. You fucked up, all right. <laughs> just like put your hand up and say, "Look, I'm sorry," or just explain yourself, like, because that still hasn't really explained anything. Yeah, like why? Why did you post that? What were you trying to say? You know, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, that, that's it's just strange. The guys, I think he's a bit cooked. I know? think so too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but this is the thing, right? Because he's a good-looking guy. Yeah, he's white. Yeah, he's on TV. Yeah, how much more rope are you going to give him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, look, he'll be fine. I think in a oh, it's maybe 100%. a couple of weeks, dude. People will forget, and they'll just be like, "Oh, there's that crazy anti-vaxing guy, uh, yeah. vaxxer guy," but they won't, you know. Can you imagine it if won't that be was like, like, oh, there's that crazy racist guy, you know? Imagine if that was, um, uh, what's his name? Andrew Leo. <clears throat> Andrew Leo. Fuck, what's his name? Ah, uh, he's, he was on a, he's a chef as well. Australian chef? Yeah, he's Australian. But he's, I did a thing with him once. Was he the one? Oh yeah, no, no, I know, I know who you mean. What's yeah. his name? Um, no, I, I totally don't know oh his my name. Oh god, but, this um, is so fucking bad, man. This fucking podcast. Sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, but I do know who you mean. I do. I one hundred percent. Holy you know. shit! He's like the samurai looking chef. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, the, the three listeners are like they're just screaming. Yeah, yeah. Like it's fucking. 
Uh, Samurai Chef. Australian. I've got photos with this guy. Yeah, he's he's um Australian what's Chef. What's his name? Asian. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Oh, his face just popped up. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck. I met him once. Did you? Nah, he was like at this like cooking thing, like this Thai cooking thing, and I was in the crowd. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. Adam Leo. There we go. I was close. What's up? What's up, Adam? <laughs> Apologies, Adam. Yeah, what's up? Uh, he was a nice guy, though. Yeah, okay. He was very in- in- very intelligent. Yep. Yeah. Um, Super duper intelligent. So, um, but imagine if he was like... Bro. <laughs> spouting off some wild shit. Yeah. You yeah. would like, you'd never see his face ever again. Nah, he'd be done. He'd be done. Ever? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Like, the the risk for a lot of these, I guess, people in a in a position of like white, like privilege is that y- your your platform doesn't usually shake or get affected you know yeah which you know is, is, is it is it that thing. or is it just because like no one really cares about pete evans <laughs> probably that to you know be I mean? like honest. he's not yeah. big enough <laughs> that's to probably get that canceled. it's probably that yeah it's he's not big that. enough to get canceled i mean like yeah. i feel like who's like somebody that got, do australians even get canceled like are australians big enough to get canceled i think if you're like in sports <laughs> and you've done something bad yeah you know? yeah i guess I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that's been cancelled in Australia. Or maybe I'm just not paying attention. Um, are we talking about white people? Or just yeah, white people. I don't know. What was that? <sighs> See, I don't know enough about sports, but I, I always feel like sports for, like, because obviously sport is a big thing in Australia. Like, I feel like if you're in, in a powerful sporting position and you've done something bad, then you're a lot more easily targeted because it's yeah. more in the sort of I guess public interest but um yeah I don't, I don't, I don't know. know I don't know I probably should have researched this before I started <laughs> talking about it but um but I don't, I, I, I don't think I don't think like I was gonna say I don't think anyone like in that position has said anything particularly wrong but I know that statement's totally untrue I know there's heaps of people that have said fucked up things I just can't think of anyone that's been super cancelled by it yeah you know? I mean I mean, we've got some pretty legendary um, sporting personalities that have done and said some pretty fucking wild shit. Yeah, for and sure. And they still survive. Like, Andrew Johns yeah. is still doing work for, like, I think Channel 9 or whatever, yeah, like doing right. work for rugby. Like, they've, you know, he just, like, popped some pills and, <laughs> you know, like, had a good time with some ecstasy, what it, what it was called ecstasy back in the day. And, yeah, yeah. You know, his brother was, like, like running trains yeah, on, right. like, on chicks with his teammates and they're still, like... Jeez. Yeah, that's just, like... Australia, bro. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. Mm. I think it's pretty, a pretty relaxed attitude. I guess because Australians don't really put, um, their idols on so much of a pedestal. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. it's like our, our prime minister will have a beer with you. Like he'll walk mm. through the fucking crowd and have a beer with you, or yeah. he'll, yeah, that kind of vibe. You know, like they Australians are more willing to sort of pull them down. Yeah, knock them down a few pegs to yeah, their I level. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So in that there's, there's sense, definitely a, a, um, the gap is not as wide. Yeah. as um, as I guess politicians like say in the states. Yeah, yeah. And uh, even celebrities in the states where they're like mm. stalked and worshipped. Mm. Whereas in Australia, it's like, oh, there's that dickhead <laughs> fucking Shannon Noel. Hey, you know what I mean? Like, who fucking does that? <laughs> Australians do. Yeah, but like, you know, that's, that's Shannon Noel, bro. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get do you. Know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like, oh, fucking Shane Warner. Oh, Warney. Yeah, yeah. You know? But I feel it's like because like they, it's it's a different level of fame. Like, like would we do that for someone that's like, like would we do that to like a Chris Hemsworth kind of thing? Uh, you know? Okay. Chris Hemsworth has made his um, fame in America. Yeah, 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 yeah. So true. I guess once you elevate to that Hollywood level, then yeah. there's like this aura about you. Nicole yeah. Kidman is the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's sort of like a barrier where it's yeah. like, that's, yeah. Yeah, and you have become like the Illuminati now. <laughs> it's like, you don't speak like that to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I'm just guessing. No, no, but I think you're right because I think I think generally like how Australians sometimes look at um like news reporters or like, you know, daytime TV hosts and stuff is like, you know, 
like fuck this person they don't how are they better than me up yeah. there talking you know shit crushing. you know you know yeah, yeah. That's, i think that's always the sort of attitude even though it's not necessarily done in malice yeah it's, just yeah, kinda, yeah. it's like who's this clown like yeah. you know fucking talking about shit you know it's such a casual attitude yeah to yeah people who are in the public eye yeah yeah which is cool because like it's, it's sort of cool yeah, yeah. it, it kind of keeps the people in the public eye in check i guess i, I think so, so yeah don't get too but it's also like it's like man bit of respect man like these guys in the public eye <laughs> They're kind of putting themselves out there, you know what I mean? Like, yep. it's like, it'd be nice to... Yeah, bro, Gogglebox, for sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't watch Gogglebox. <laughs> I don't watch it. Well, don't, because, like, I think what we tried it? to get through, like, I think, 10 minutes. I don't know, I've never actually watched it properly, but... What is it? It's that show about, um, it's a TV series about people watching stuff on TV. And just reacting, or...? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because I've seen, like, little ads from, like, this just looks like a big reaction video. It is basically that's what it is. So like they'll play like a sound bite or like a movie bite from the day, like even just like mundane shit, like something from Sunrise. Yeah, you know, and they'll react to it. And, oh you, god! You know, so, yeah. Well, what channel is that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's cancelled. Oh good. I actually I could be wrong because I remember it came back for like a second or third season. Jeez. And me and Thomas and Swillow were like, what the? F- Excuse me, what the? going on <laughs> Damn. but you know what it's the same kind of attitude we were like because we it came on as an ad and we're like who are these clowns we can do this yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man well we're actually doing it now we're exactly like, we are it. reacting to a show on tv reacting to other shows on tv that's it that's it and every time ninja warrior comes on me thomas and so are like okay we miss this year's like entry but next year boys <laughs> you need to start training train up for it yeah um so yeah, yeah yeah ninja warrior is basically tough mudder yeah well it's basically the same thing just no mud hey yeah, yeah it's clean yeah. it's like clean clean mudder clean mudder <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah man right, yeah. uh but shout out to the homeboy pete evans man i hope <laughs> i hope man i hope like you're not that person i hope you're just going through something that's what happens when you don't vaccinate bro yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. why we don't have polio anymore that's it right. um look uh, yeah like i mean I, like you we shouldn't give people like an easy pass but like i don't know like if, if he explained himself better about why he put that up then i'd be more willing to listen to what he would have to say but yeah. just the fact you know just to have an offhanded comment that's like highly sarcastic and stuff. It's just like, well, fuck you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be really honest. I don't care about Pete Evans. Mm. Uh, evidence of that is I thought his name was Pete <laughs> Evans. <laughs> I'm mean, sorry, Chris, Chris Evans. Evans. Like, Isn't that Captain care. America? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, was, yeah I was yeah, Googling. Yeah. I was like, 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 <laughs> <laughs> like hmm, it doesn't look like a chef. That's a different white guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's yeah. the one with the shield, <laughs> yeah. not the one with the plates. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But I just saw that and I was like, this is great. Yeah. This is great. S- some white dude yeah. said some heinous, sh- well, didn't say some sh- heinous shit, but like he shared some heinous shit mm. and like fucking no one cares. Mm. SBS reported it. Mm. If any other person of color did anything, it'd be mm. all over Channel 9, That's, all over Channel 10, yeah. all over fucking like, yeah. you know, like all these fucking publications. But yeah. because some white dude, it's like, and this guy has a track record mm. of doing wild shit. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, Nobody fucking cares. Nobody well, knows. Nobody well, that's cares. the thing. I didn't. Re- I didn't know. The only reason why I vaguely knew about it is because, like, like I said to you before, like I'm a huge, huge like um, Simpsons pop culture fan, and like I follow this particular group where they just meme um, just relevant like topics and issues, and it has a really big Australian like um, uh, fan, I guess, um, base and community. Yeah. And um, just all these posts of like. Um, Peter Evans and like just <laughs> I saw like just like Nazi symbols and shit and I was just like what's going on yeah, yeah. and the thing is like that's that is a good response because it is from like I said a very big Australian community and like majority of the, the um, people in that group are white and yeah. they're just ripping this guy apart like just yeah. being like what a douchebag you know Tires. so it's like it's 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 cool to see like grassroots um, uh, reactions like that Yeah. but it, it shows also that like you know where are we going to take things seriously and actually have this guy, you know, have a bit of accountability for posting something like that? Yeah. You know? so, well, he's, you know, like the, the, again, the publishing companies, I guess, not doing any more work with him. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. He's still got products stocked in Buddy Woolworths and shit though. <laughs> like his livelihood is not, has not been taken away from him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, look, I don't know if it should be, 
Mm. Like sometimes you say some fucking wild shit, and then yeah, but he posted up like a whole picture. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, look, yeah, that's the thing. Like everyone's got opinions. Yeah, and like I, until he ex- he sort of explains himself. But that's what I mean. Like I'm all f- I'm all ears for an explanation. Yeah, but f- he f- he hasn't said anything. Yeah, to that's explain. it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird like that. Yeah. Um, I just like, from what I see though, it just doesn't look like someone who's well. <laughs> to be honest, it mm. doesn't look like. Yeah, someone who's well. Yeah, it just looks like he's surrounded by either nobody mm. or people who are like, um, not being honest with him. Yeah, does he, does he have like a family? Like, does he have like know. wife and kids and shit? Okay, I don't know. Yeah, well, who cares? Yeah, <laughs> honestly, yeah. <laughs> but I just like, I just thought that was a good example. Like, I think it, no, it's interest. It's an interesting um thing to bring up for like just our media in Australia and just yeah. our reactions. I guess. Yeah, yeah. and that's my nom nom. That's yeah. my, that's my like, that this is like, tasty this morsel. is fantastic yeah. tasty. that this guy can go around, you know, <laughs> somebody in the public eye. That took this podcast from good to great. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro. So. That was almost as sarcastic as <laughs> the Pete <laughs> Evans fucking response. No, bro, that's true. That's true. I'm just tired, so it didn't come out like yeah, like, super enthusiastically. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, you know, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, thanks, bro. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you explaining yourself clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Um, yeah. But yeah, man, look, thanks guys for tuning in to <laughs> another episode of Umami Nights, man. Um, we're just gonna <laughs> fucking drink our beers now, bro. Like, we gotta uh, get the busy home cook back. We gotta get her back. Um, what a legend. Yeah, we yeah. gotta get it back. She's the breakout star, no doubt. Yeah, for sure. Oh, everybody, 100%. Ar- everybody I run into is like talking about how how awesome she is on yeah. the show. Oh well, that's because it's true. I was <laughs> like, what about me? Like, I'm the brains behind the operation. Yeah, but like, you know, you gotta keep shit running. You know, I you know, just you but know, man, I want my running. credit. I want, credit I, is due. I want my shine. <laughs> nah, bro, you gotta like busy home cook. What's up? You gotta right. you gotta come back next episode. Yeah. 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 Well, look. She might be playing hardball, you know, like, she's Whoa, like, show me the money, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Like, yeah. you know what, it's yeah. like to be on ice. It's like, do you want, like, those three viewers to be one viewer? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Because I can stop watching this anytime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can stop watching this fucking podcast at any time. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Nah. Um, but yeah, man, look, um, fucking for all three of you, if you haven't followed us on Spotify, please do that. <laughs> um, and if you can just tell one person, probably don't, Tell them not to watch this one. Tell them to watch the one before with yeah, Busy yeah, Home yeah. Cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a this good one. This one was a bit trash. This one was, uh, this one was like, it was all right. But it was yeah. all right. Yeah. Um, but I just feel like, I just feel like. <laughs> it's, it's been a long day, guys. It's been, it, uh, you know what? I yeah. think that's what it is. I'm, I'm low energy. That's, yeah, That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. We had a massive meeting before yeah. uh, and it was like all my creative juices that, i was gonna like say the same thing it was a very creative meeting and i think a lot of you know a lot of my um, adrenaline and yeah. all that good stuff has has been uh spent and also actually this is what it is as well okay well. we had massive slices of lasagna from True. our mates philip and wendy oh man yeah that's what that it is i'm like i've got the itis yeah. i had two slices like this and it was so good i even when you served it to me i was like um i'm like a little bit hungry, but um, I'll see. I'll eat a little bit. I think I smashed it. It's, it's done. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should keep it light next time. Yeah. Or just, do what we did beers. last time. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just beers and wine. <laughs> yeah, man. We just li- liquid yeah, dinners. Liquid dinners. Um, um, but I mean, it's this was fun as yeah. usual. Yeah. I just like I don't care how it is. Yeah. I always have. Fun. I look forward to these, man. I really do. No, it's, it's um, no same, bro. It's good. And it's even good. if like our three listeners turn to two. I'm still going to be doing this. I'll still be here. We'll still be here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, homies. Thanks. Peace. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Later.